Okay. Well, hi, everybody. Are you excited? I'm so excited to hear from you guys here from Luthan. Um, I'm going to do some quick announcements, and then we're going to give her the entire floor. So, um, but I want to, to make sure that we're on the same page with announcements. First of all, your key necklace. You have how many days to earn your key necklace? 11 days. 11 days. Who's going to earn their key necklace? Lisanne is wearing the lovely key necklaces, both of them, in case you um, can't see them. Aren't they cute? Like they're the shorter and the longer ones? They're so cute. Ah, uh, she has a cute yeah, they're wearing Wasn't that cute? I didn't realize that. I love it. I don't think they would do that. So they're super cute. Super cute. Yeah, I don't think um, our goal is to have 30 necklace winners. And so if everybody in the room and those watching online all earn their necklace, we'd be golden. So no pressure, but we need you to earn your necklace. All right. Um, earn it by doing 600 wholesale. This is also makeup month for those of you that missed, a, missed last month for the year long consistency challenge of a weekend getaway. Also, when you earn your gorgeous necklace, you earn Inner Circle at my home. The leaders get to connect and have some fun girl time and really stretch your thinking. Become like the five people you spend the most time with. And so I want our leaders pulling together as we build our national area because the, the people that are ordering 600 wholesale are people that are selling and have the products on faces. And so you're going to be consistently doing that level. Like Lisa Ann was telling the Reds, don't ever miss 13% commission. And that's because you're personally ordering 600 wholesale, so you're making 13%, right? So set that as the bar, the low, low, low bar in your business. And you do that by having $100 days, right? And our goal is to have $1,000 days each month, right? Yeah. Right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. There are 11 days left in the month. And all of you can have, if you have zero $100 days so far, you can have a $100 day every day between now and the end of the month. Could that not be exciting? Yes. Let's claim that. Let's claim that every day is a $100 day. You know, any queen that has been queen of sales, like they usually say something like their goal is to sell $100 to $200 a day every day. That claim that after, would that, would that blow your mind to sell $200 every day? Would things be different if you sold $200 every single day? So if other people can do it, you can do it. What was Lisa Ann's thing? If it's happened in America, it's for me too, right? It's something like that. Basically, it's happened in other people's world. It can happen for you too. Okay. What'd you say? Amen. If it's happening in Mary Kay, it applies to you too. If other women are doing it, so can you, right? Um, okay, so along with that, because it starts with faces, what promo am I doing for faces? You can earn time with me. How? 15? Yeah. Yeah, free food and free coffee. Um, 30 faces this month, you um, earn lunch. 15 faces, you earn coffee. I want you doing faces because it's easy as faces take you places, right? And when you're doing the faces, you're going to sell the product and you're going to be ordering your necklace. Okay. Um, I have the leaf call that I'm doing, um, pay setters. Oh, um, I don't know if you saw this. I should repost this, but um, Diane Mentally is another awesome national that's let us um, use her stuff. She's starting a pay setters in September. And if you guys want to register um, for it, I'll repost the info. Um, you got to sign up. It doesn't start till like the middle of September, but be sure to sign up for it this month. Um, calendar of events, that's not changing. Scavenger hunt, how many did your scavenger hunt challenge from last week? Anybody, anybody? Did you complete the entire thing? Kinda, kinda, kinda. Well, then you're officially challenged you again this week. And to fill it all out, let's see who can fill it out first, right? Because last week you're all were fired up about it. Let's see who can fill it out first. It's super simple way to ask people. Um, 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 oh, one thing we're doing Friday night, Jana couldn't be here tonight. Write this down because we, um, I haven't even said it to anybody yet. Friday night, we're doing a brow bar here in the Springs. Ooh, I know, oh, yeah. right. Brow bar, you can learn all about brows. Consultants can't just come without a guest, okay? Because I want you bringing people to, um, and she can teach you about brows. We had a, she, she did it in Denver, and it was awesome. It was really fun. We did it um, on Friday night. It was really, really fun. So this Friday night in the Springs, Friday night, we're doing a brow bar here. And then all the other events are the same. Um, let's see. I think, I think that is it as far as the announcements. Except for one last. Oh, no, I lied. There's two more. There's always. I was like, I know I'm forgetting something. What about these gorgeous things next to me? Oh, look at these guys. How do you earn these lovely things? Yeah. Um, you know how you earn? Um, anyone else? 
On target. You share to earn them. Yes. Good job. I'm impressed. You remember, she came as a guest and she's like, I watched your video and I did on Facebook Live. How many of you watched my Facebook Live that I did the day after the meeting? Okay. Thank you. Some of you are paying attention. Everyone else, they want, you guys were here last week, right? Um, so you earned this gorgeous prize. It's a $350 purse. I'll pass it around. Well, make sure you, your hands are not gross. Um, <laughs> We, we just ate, so maybe we'll not, we'll let this stay up here. Um, this is gorgeous, it's a $350 Ted Baker purse. When you do 10,000 wholesale this month, which means you and your team, which if you're like, yeah, right, I'm giving up, well, well, shame on you. Because anybody in the room can earn it if you decide that you're gonna do it and then are willing to do the work. Because anybody that I have helped do 10,000 in a month, some of them done it the very first month, it literally is the last like 10, 15 days or not even, I mean, cause Nina did in her, her first two weeks in business, her first two weeks in business. Yeah. And she did all came together at the end. There's been several, yeah, there was Thanksgiving. So we don't even have a holiday. So 11 days, 11 days. You can easily do that. Backtrack that. Um, you would want to have, I would say at least 40 people just listen to the business opportunity between now and the end of the month. So that's where the sharing piece comes in, Miss Melissa. So 10,000 year in that. 5,000, because we're going to be excited to just go on tour for their car with 5,000 this month. Because any of you guys could do that too. I would say you want to share with at least 20 to 30 people to do that. You need five active team members, and the orders between you and your team are 5,000 wholesale. And if you are committed to the activities, the results will come. Now, here's the big thing they have to follow up with me or your director ASAP. You have them listen, they got to follow up ASAP, and that works in your coaching, in your coaching with them. To say, hey, great, you just listened. Okay, well, you need to listen. Um, then can you follow up and tell Candace what you think within 24 hours, you know? And then it's your job to, to work on coaching them to make sure they know to talk to me and that I'm not scary and then still to get their free stuff, okay? I just had a new consultant. She literally, well, not um, Kanisha. She's not here tonight. She's on a cruise, okay? And she wanted to hit her 20 before she got in that cruise boat. And she literally was driving all across um down to Florida to hit her cruise boat and she hit 20 literally right before they docked, right before they left. It was awesome because she had a goal and a deadline that she literally, as she left the meeting, it was Monday and she had to be, um, her, her ship or whatever went away. Uh, she went MIA on Friday. So literally in like uh, three days, she had 20 people listen and it was all in the follow-up. So you guys could do the same thing if you make a decision and you have your mind committed to do the activity. You can wrap your mind around the activity, the results will come. Got it? So when you do 5,000, you get to earn one of these lovely other gorgeous prizes. Um, where's the mini one? Somewhere right here. Okay. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, cute Sorry. little guy. No, no, it's fine. I didn't know where to go. I didn't have a magic desk. But here's this guy, the little mini. Um, or this cute iPad case. Super cute. Or this lovely evening gown. Uh-huh, evening gown. <laughs> you wear this to your next seminar? <laughs> nope, don't, don't wear that as an evening gown. Or this cute little uh, wallet. So when you do 5,000 in a month, you get to pick one of those. And it's first come, first serve. So we're kind of in a friendly competition. Whoever does the first gets to pick. Got it? So who's going to win? Me. Woo! You're going to win one of those. Claim it and then be committed to the activity, you guys. Because when you do the activity, you'll get the results. And like Lisa Ann was talking about breaking in our red jacket, we talked about break down the numbers. When you focus on the numbers, it takes the emotion out of it. I think emotion, my, the best emotional management tip I have, in, you know, is that I work large numbers because then when I get the no's and the people that say they're going to do something and they don't, or people that are so excited when you warm chatter and then they don't, I'm talking to enough people that doesn't discourage me as much because I'm talking to larger numbers, right? If you're talking to 40 people, someone's going to say yes, right? And so ask enough people, tell them they have a goal to just listen, okay? Got it? Yeah. All right. He's going to earn it. Okay. The last thing, I had to grab my phone because you're the first people to hear about this. I literally just had my assistant make the JPEG. So I have to remember what I told her. Um, so, <laughs> and I'll post this, but I don't know if you guys know this. Um, the whole reason Lisa Ann is here is not just to come to my meeting. I know. I know. You know, you thought this was just coming here, just to come here. But I will say that she squeezed it in. Um, we are going on a silent retreat. The two of us and about 18 other directors. There are several people that are flying. are flying in tomorrow. I'm picking up two um, tomorrow from the airport. Flying in from all over the country to go on a silent retreat for the next 48 hours. So we're starting Tuesday, uh, Tuesday afternoon to Thursday afternoon. And literally, um, my, my and, I, and I'm putting it on 
um, because I'm very passionate about leaders. So it's just for directors. Um, getting clarity and being still and hearing God's voice. Because in all the busyness of life, we, we just kind of throw prayers here and there. We throw whatever. We go through the motions that we don't take time to be still and really connect with God's voice and give us direction about where we need to go and the changes we need to be make, need to be making and really build that relationship with him. And so I'm really excited about it to see what happens in the next 48 hours. So you guys can be praying for us as leaders. I, I would love prayers as a leader to know how I can be better a leader for you. So I'm praying for vision and clarity in the next season of, of my business and our, and our business, um, businesses together. And so, so well, I'm going off the grid for a Tuesday to Thursday. All right. So I'm going to do a challenge while I'm gone. Yay. Yay. Cause just cause one of the best gifts that you give me is when I turn my phone back on, we're going to have a phone up. When I turn my phone back on, to be blown up with this activity that all of you in the room have completed the challenge that I'm going to issue. So that is the greatest gift you can give me while I'm in silence, figuring out what the heck and, and what, where the heck I'm going, what I'm doing, how I can be a better leader. Okay. So you can do three of these five things called off the grid challenge. Um, and you can do three of these five things, four new bookings. So that means four new appointments on your books, whether it's a guest to an event. Um, we are doing the events Thursday night and Friday night. So that's not changing. Um, and so that can four, four new bookings. That could be a guest to an event. It could be a skincare class. It could be um, a facial. I don't care what it is getting four new things on your books. Okay. That's the first one. And, and you have from Tuesday to Thursday. Okay. So it starts, you guys get advanced warning because it's not going to officially start for everyone else until tomorrow morning. But I know you guys are going to be people that are going to start it. So from right now until Thursday evening, four new bookings, sell $150 in product, okay? So sell $150 in product. That's the second thing you can do. Get 10 new names. I just gave you the child scavenger hunt challenge. You could easily do that. Lisa Ann was talking about going and you guys know we've trained on a million ways to get names. There's a million ways to get names. You can warm chatter. You can, uh, you can go into an office building with flowers. You have flowers you can get before you leave and go in and meet people. She talked about, she had a girl go into an office building um, and get 25 names. Oh, they got 25 names in what, an hour or something? Hour. hour and 10 minutes got 25 names on her um, lunch break. And maybe I exaggerated that part. But um, I think, <laughs> no, I think we were talking to Shannon about doing it on her lunch break. That, I know. <laughs> um, so anyways, you guys can get 10 names in three days if you make a decision, make your mind up. Um, three new people watch the marketing video. Three people, so they, they watch it from Tuesday, Thursday. Of course, I won't be able to follow up with them until Thursday, but you have three people watch either my normal video or my peek into pink. You send me their info. I would love to have my phone blown up and you have 20 people that have listened and I got a lot of follow-up to do. I would love to have that problem. Um, and then the fifth thing is see five new faces. Five new faces. So you do three of those five things um, and you complete the challenge you're gonna get from me. So four new bookings, $150 in for sell, $150 in product, get 10 new names, have three people watch the marketing video and do um, five new faces. Do three of those five things and you complete the challenge. So, got it? Do you guys hear that? And I'm gonna post it on our Facebook page too. Okay, you're officially challenged. Ready, set, go. After you listen to Lisa Ann. Um, <laughs> all right, that's it. Any questions? So I want my, you have to let me know by Friday morning at the latest, okay? I have till Thursday night at midnight to finish. Oh, you emailed me your accolades. Okay, I was just, she just typed in a bullet points. Okay. All right, so with no further ado, you guys get to meet my incredible friend. Oh, hasn't shown up yet. Oh, I'm just gonna, I'll stop. It's cool, maybe she just show me yours. <laughs> I wanna introduce her properly. Um, she, okay, I don't know, it's not showing up. It's not, it's just, you have it on your phone. I'll just pull up your phone. It's, 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 it's in cyberspace. Okay, can you go to sent? Can you go there? It's sending. Oh, it's in okay. sending. I'm saying, can you open the email? Okay, well, you have it on your phone? Can you show me? No? Okay. Body break. Right. No, no. <laughs> okay, well, um, I will just tell you what I know, and we'll wing this. First of all, I will tell you, she is one of my, my, my closest friends, I would say, um, and someone who has done life with me. Um, she, in case you don't know, Lisa Ann, um, and I met in Monaco on a, my first top sales director trip. And you've ever, if you've ever heard me talk about Monaco, I was so scared and so nervous. It was my first top director trip. And I, you know, we, we know, like you guys know who Callie is and you know, um, who all these big deals are in Mary Kay. And then to like go on a trip with them and have to hang out with them. And I had never done it before. I got really nervous and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not like them. They're 
Yeah, we put it, we put these people on these pedestal stools, but they're real people. They're just willing to do the work, right? And um, anyway, so I was super scared. I almost didn't get on the plane. I was so nervous. But Lisa Ann made me feel super welcome. She accepted me. She introduced me to all these other incredible people. And she's always made me feel um, like I'm part of the group. And I love that about her. She's an includer. She always goes and picks new people at the, on the top director pit trips and helps them feel special. And so many people say that about you. That is a gift. Um, and after that trip, she felt like I was telling her to start a prayer call where um, there are six of us all across the country. Um, she's in Pennsylvania, in case you don't know that. She lives in Pennsylvania. Of course, we live here. There's, we have someone in California and Georgia and Chicago, or Illinois, Texas. Texas and Illinois. So we're literally all in different time zones. And um, she, we have literally prayed together every Monday for over the last, what, six years, five years. And we have been through stuff. We've been through some crazy like deaths and divorces and depression and health stuff. And it has been awesome to just have people to do life with you. That's what this is. is you guys, you've been into Mary Kay. These women are the real deal. They're there to do life with you. That they love you regardless of how you perform. They love you for who you are. And that is a gift. Um, and so, and what I can also say about her is she's an overcomer. We talked a little bit in the Red Jacket group about, you know, some health concerns. This woman, I feel like every, and she didn't complain about him. So you will not hear her talk about him unless you ask her, you know, how, how's your, how's your hips? How's your back? How's your whatever? How's your allergies? How's your whatever? If you actually sit up ask her, she will tell you about it, but she is very strong. She has a lot of medical health problems and she doesn't let it stop her. She is a top performer in our company. And I know she has good days and bad days, but she doesn't let her stop her. She's an overcomer. So I'll tell you about Lisa Ann and she has a heart of gold and uh, loves the Lord like no other. And is an incredible leader in our company. And you guys are going to be so blessed by her. So I'm going to tell you her official um, uh, ish, uh, accolades. She's been in Mary Kay for 26 years. That's a big deal. She, before Mary Kay was a nurse, she was a nurse, oh, master's, master's. So she was not just a nurse. She went and did the extra education. She has been married to Bill for how long? 33 years. Yeah, that's a celebration right there. Um, they've been married that long. Two daughters, Chelsea and Lexi, how old are they again? You just said 23 and 27. 23 and 27. She's owned 13 cars, 11 of them pink Cadillacs. She's done the court of sharing. She's done the court of sales for over 20 years. You guys, this woman is a selling fool. I'm gonna have her train a little bit tonight on how to sell and make some good money making sales. You excited? Um, Cause this woman's a queen. So to do court of sales, it means you have to do over 40,000 yourself, yourself a year in sales. And she's done that for 20 years and earned big gorgeous diamonds to, to you know, as, as a, I don't know, a, a prize because of it. Um, she has done 23 unit circles. I mean, she has led her unit to sell over 300,000, 23,000 times. 17 circle of excellence. That means in, in a year, her unit sold 650,000. She led her unit to sell 650,000, 17 times. That means she's been on 17 top director trips. We, she was just telling me some stories about seeing the Vienna Boys Choir and like, yeah, like some crazy things that people cannot even fathom. She could tell you some really cool stories. These are people can't even fathom. Um, she's done million and she was the annual Miss Go Give, which I know you guys probably don't even know what that is, but Go Give is the highest honor in Mary Kay. And each month they pick a director. You have to be chosen for this. It's something you're nominated for. You can't perform it. And then they pick out of all the directors yearly and she won that honor. So it's a huge deal. I mean, she has a heart of gold. So that deserves a round of applause. And she is very passionate about carrying on the Mary Kay legacy. So without any further ado, get on your feet to welcome my friend and top, top director in our company, Lisa Ann You guys really appreciate what you have here. You know, I know a lot of people in this company and you are a gem. You get this company, you are a master motivator, you're willing to push your through. through. I have seen you through the highs, the lows, and all of the crazy in between. But no matter what, you care about these people. You want them to be successful. And you're an amazing leader. I'm so proud to call you friend. And I hope you guys know what you have. I know. Perfect. All right, cool. All right, so let's start. Like, hi, guys. 
her background and I watched her start to wean away from her nursing career and so I was very intrigued at the transition of Sarah so here's what I want to tell you about that I started with no knowledge of any of this but I was willing to learn and I was a sponge and I was here's the thing I will tell you why I really think that I did so well my first year I did court of sales and I earned my first car my first year and um, as a nurse, when you're in a hospital and a physician writes a prescription or a treatment plan, you do it exactly. You don't wing it. <laughs> you don't decide, well, I'll give it tomorrow, right? It's an exact plan. So when I came into Mary Kay, I had this mindset that I was going to do it exactly as I was taught. So consequently, I moved up quickly into red, into team leader. Car, I mean the whole bit the first year and I really look back on that because I was willing to be coached by my director and I'm at a very close relationship with my director and I will tell you um, as much as I wanted to I never hid from her mm. now maybe you guys don't down. do this before that Candace calls and you don't answer the phone or she boxes you and you don't respond or she says call me back and you conveniently forget for some text days. you back yes. and I say call me back uh -huh. probably never ever <laughs> happened to any of you ever uh -uh. in this room uh -uh. I didn't lie I was very forthright in the emotions I was going through I was willing to grow from um, the challenges that I had, did I like every conversation that I had with Alice? No, I didn't. But am I grateful that I did? Absolutely. So 
that year was really a, bit, a strong journey for me. Um, I actually came to Christ that, that year. Um, I actually did not. Um, I'd grown up in a Christian home, but I had never, ever heard about having a saving faith. And I went to a, uh, something called a walk to a yes, it's a four-day retreat, and accepted Christ as my Savior. And it was at that retreat that I really felt the call that I was intended to do this in a big way, that I was intended to grow this business, and that um, me helping people, um, this was the path that God had for me to help people. So um, I owe my eternity to an influence. It was actually at a Mary Kay event that that seed was actually planted about what that even meant. And if you're curious about that, reach out to me or Candace or Brianna or anybody else that you know. So anyway, um, so that first year, I earned a, a red grand am. Woo! Don't even exist anymore. And a quarter sales diamond ring. And um, then I went into DIQ. So I'm telling you this because I know a lot of you want directorship. And I want to tell you about the motions that had happened. I went into DIQ because it was the next place on the career path. I didn't go into DIQ the first time because I had a real reason and purpose and target and goal of why I wanted to do it. I just did it because it was the next thing on the career path. And so that season of DIQ, I lovingly refer to as DIQ stood for Did I Quit? And <laughs> I went from a team of 12 to five. Yay! Yay! So um, has anybody ever missed a goal? And then, yeah, uh -huh. okay. so if you haven't missed a goal, you can't go to And so I, I missed that goal, and I climbed inside myself. And I started, that is the small period where I was vo avoiding my director. She actually would show up at my house one time. So I was avoiding her goal. And um, and it was because of my recruiter, Sarah, absolutely insisted that I come to this red jacket event. We literally drove through a blizzard, we drove off the road like the whole thing. But it was a God-ordained weekend. And here's what I will tell you is that when you're not in a good place and your recruiter or your director is saying, you really need to come, have an open heart and be willing to listen because that person has gone before you and she, know, and she knows what you're going through. See, every single, I really think there's not a darn thing you guys could say to me that would surprise me. I mean, literally, I've seen it all. I'm going to tell you about a couple really funny things that have happened in my journey. How many brand, brand, brand new people do we have here? Awesome. Like, yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> retreat there were like 14 of us that braved around the table we had national sales director Sister Patrick there and I came back with a fire in my belly that I had not held had for a long time because I I found my why this is one of the things I talked about in the other room with the red jackets and the DIQs is that you have to be clear about why you're doing what you're doing I knew without a shadow of a doubt that we wanted to have a second child we wanted a bigger house. I wanted to be saving for college. I got clear about what I was doing and why I was doing it. I went and got a, such a sense of humor. I went into DIQ April 1st and found out April 2nd that I was pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> so I did my second DIQ um, first trimester, which any of you that have had children, you know that that's a lovely time period. <laughs> <laughs> All time. The good thing that came from that was my attitude was, and I'll tell you, this is one of the best gifts me and people give you, is how to have a, to think differently and how to have a better attitude about everything in life. My attitude was, I'm going to feel crappy whether I'm home or I'm working, I might as well be working. And so my husband knew that I was just like, the whole time. And so he met me in the driveway every day when I came home and carried my bags in. Oh. Um, that was see, Lexi's 23, so that was 24 years ago. You guys, he's still carrying the bag. Oh. The garage door goes up. And he's trained my girls. <laughs> <laughs> so my girls know when the garage door comes up, the whole family comes out and they unload the car. So that was a, that was a blessing of doing the first trip. So my uh, 
first daughter um, was 11 months old when I started, just a couple months older than this inside. And my second one came home from the hospital in um, a Mary Kay car. Um, I had the privilege of meeting Mary Kay. And I will tell you that my passion now is to carry on the legacy of this company. It is the most unique culture of any culture that exists on the planet. I don't care where you go, there is not a sisterhood where you are taught to put God first, family second, career third, praise people to success, to picture everybody with a sign around their neck that says, make me feel important. And so it is my mission to carry on this legacy. Um, when I met Mary Kay, Mary Kay was about 4'11". She was a mighty little thing, and uh, she would kick off her shoes, and I have a vivid memory of her at the podium at seminar, and she would she would lean up on the podium and she'd like this, and then she'd shake her finger and she'd go, I've never seen a dirty pink Cadillac, and I know I never will. <laughs> <laughs> and so whenever my car's really dirty, <laughs> I have this vision of Mary Kay. What's so funny is my girls have heard me say that so many times that they repeat it. They say, Mom, your car's <laughs> oh, <laughs> Um, So, a uh, funny story. Um, uh, Lexi was five months old, Chelsea was four, when I earned my first pink Cadillac, I thought, oh, how awesome, I'll take my children, we'll go get the pink Cadillac together, we'll get family pictures, and so um, Lexi in the car on the way home decided to, you know, blow out a diaper, oh. and uh, my four-year-old screamed the whole way home, go back, I want the red car! <laughs> So, um, how many of you have kids? I honestly think this is one of the most powerful ways that you can inspire your children and the women in your lives by letting them see you, watch you work. Uh, my daughter, Lexi, well, both my girls played soccer, and um, Lexi was a fullback, which was like goalie, fullback, and then the rest of the team was in front of them. So. I never ever said to her what she should do. Her dad was the coach. But I, I was at a game one time and they were really struggling as a team. And she was standing back there shouting things like, Sam, shake it off, you can do it. You know, and she was shouting out compliments about what they were doing and you can do it and I believe in you and all of these things. And I'm like, oh my gosh, my daughter is praising these kids to success. Now I've never said, now Lexi, when you're standing at fullback, she had caught that and was living it out. See, that's the power of this business is that when, as you grow and as you change, the ability that you can make in somebody else's life by modeling for that is huge. You know, the DIQs and the Reds were very open to letting me coach them. Maybe they didn't want me to, but, um, but just catching the little ways that we think, because when you learn to think glass half full versus half empty, when you learn to talk glass half full versus half empty, then not only does it impact your attitude, but it impacts everybody around you. And so um, I just have to tell you about just some really fun things that have happened over the years. So my very first pink Cadillac I earned, my national sales director, Sister Patrick, used to have this event. It was Three hours away, my front door to her front door, I had to leave at 6 a.m. to be in her driveway at 9 a.m. for this brunch that she held once a month. And, and there were a lot of pink Cadillacs in her area, and I was brand new Cadillac. I picked up my car on Friday. This was a Saturday. And so I backed out of the garage, and I was late. And so it was like 6.10, and I wasn't paying attention. Instead of taking the car like this, I went straight back and took the mirror off, and it was hanging. <laughs> <laughs> so I cut upstairs and I'm screaming, Bill, Bill, my car is! <laughs> take my life, no, it's my first and now I have to take my car. So he came back downstairs, he duct taped my hair <laughs> back on. And I got, now I was really late at this point, so I got there, and this, through this crazy driveway that went back to this lake house, it was really curvy. I, this is before backup things. I backed in so that my mirror would be away from the <laughs> um, So I just had this, I love, I love going into people's homes and selling this product. I love going into people's homes and empowering women. 
I really truly believe that as consultants will own this. Nothing happens until you sell somebody sell someone something. sells something. Okay, so do you have you claim that that when you are out selling this product, that your business is going to move faster? I literally have people that have been buying the product for me for 26 years. So I just recently had a party. I'm a city girl. I'm allergic to anything that has fur, feathers, dust, whatever. I'm allergic to all, all things animal. And so I stopped it with this party. Beautiful drive out in the country, no cell service, the whole bit. And these two little dogs greeted me at the door. And I went up and they were going to do this on a picnic table outside, which was a blessing. So what I didn't know when I, I thought I was looking the hostess, I was at, at the bride. It was actually her 18-year-old sister. Eight, but it was a great party. It had $600 in sales. They had two litters of kittens. One litter was two months old. The other litter was four weeks old. So one of the kittens sat in this woman's cleavage like the whole party. And um, they had eight cats. They had a bin of, I don't know, container cage of chickens that they actually got eggs. They had another container of roosters. They had another kind of bird that I couldn't identify. They had a pet turkey that warbled the entire party. <laughs> like, it came around the picnic table and warbled, like, the whole time of this party. And I said, aren't turkeys mean? And they're like, oh, no, you could go up on that. I'm like, I am not on the <laughs> And the 18-year-old, um, for her high school graduation, wanted a peacock. And so she had a pet peacock. Now, why am I telling you all this? No, I'm telling you all this because this is obviously way outside my norm of growing up. I grew up in the city. We've only ever had goldfish and a hamster named Bruce. You know, so <laughs> I did not grow up with dogs and cats and pets, but it was clearly important to these people. So I took the time to not only get to know all the people, but to know all the animals and how the animals had come about. And I have a, I have a party coming up, a color party with them next week that um, they were so excited to invite me back because I took the time to get to know them. Because Mary Kay said, picture everybody with a sign make, make around their neck that says, make, make, make you feel important. important. And so while I was totally with it. I mean, I've honestly, in 26 years, never had a turkey warbling around me while I was going to party. But I knew it was important and valuable. And so this is how this is how I know I did a good job at that party. The peacock wouldn't come over to this side of the cage for me to get a picture. And the 18-year-old knew I would want to get a picture. Because I, I don't remember the bird's name now. But anyway, the peacock has a name. And we talked about it. She actually texted me when I got home. I had beautiful pictures of her peacock waiting for me in my phone. Aww. And so, why am I telling you that? Now, that party was $600 in sales. I sold two skincare sets. I booked a party, and there's somebody I'd really like to talk to about the business. Two people had a consultant, and I sent them back. And so, I want to really encourage you that when you walk into somebody's home, your life, your stuff, your issues, they stay in the car, and you be there all about those people that you get into their lives. When I walk into somebody's house, I stop and I look at the pictures on the wall. I ask about the pictures on the wall. I look at what's on the refrigerator. What's on the refrigerator tells you a whole lot about a person's life. If their house is like toys are everywhere and pictures of smiling kids, then we talk about what a great mom you are and how um, I can tell you just have a lot of really fun, peaceful home. If everything is immaculate, then I talk about what an amazing housekeeper you are. My role in somebody's house is to lift that person up to believe in them. Because remember, nobody's going, wow, mom, the towels in the laundry closet are folded beautifully. Thank you so much. <laughs> we don't get that in our life. And so you have the opportunity, every home that you go into. Now, it's great to bring people to guests. Absolutely, you should bring guests to events. But you know what? when the magic happens? The magic happens at kitchen tables. When you're at her kitchen table and you're getting to know her life, her family, her pictures, her environment, there's so much magic that happens. And she's comfortable in her environment, right? You're the guest in there. You also get to see so much about life and about who she is and her family and her environment. So uh, one of the things that um, Candace and I were talking a little bit about today 
is this whole idea of set selling. And I thought it would be good to hear a little bit about, have you guys ever heard of there's three closes in every party? No? Okay. So there's three times. Well, so first of all, closing a sale begins at the beginning of the party. So when you walk into the party, sorry, I'm having a little summer moment here. Um, when you walk in, the selling process starts at the very beginning of the party. So today you're talking about the second appointment. You're engaging with them. When you develop a relationship with people, people want to come back to you over and over and over. And so the, there's a skincare close, a group close, and an individual close. So the skincare close, do you guys use the flip chart? No. Okay. So for those of you that use this flip, we use the flip chart. Um, you know that you go, that's skincare, then it's cleanser, moisturizer, eye cream. Okay, so the skincare close is after they've seen the skincare, before they've seen every, anything else. Satin, lips, microderm, CC cream timer, anything else. Before they see anything else, you do what's called the skincare close. You, wanna, you want them to have in their mind that they're going to buy a skincare set before they see anything else, okay? And so let me give you a story about why, how I know this is really powerful. I've always taught this. My people are strong sellers. We all have lots of skincare customers. I had an adoptee, Tracy Brown, come to me. This was years ago. She was like, what's the director's name who's out here? She was like about that size. And yeah, and um, she, no, not Brianna. Brianna. Courtney. This is Courtney, I was going to say, Brianna is not. Uh, <laughs> so, um, so anyway, Tracy, I taught this, was teaching skincare clothes her first week at the meeting, and she delivered. I didn't see her for about two months, and she came back and she said, I want you to know, Lisa Ann, that I've sold more skincare in the last month than I have the four years prior. Four years. So here's a skincare clothes. So, wish I had a flip chart. Do you have one sitting here? No. I have one on my phone. Um, that's okay. all I have. You can, you can visualize it. That's okay. So, there's a miracle set or miracle 3D set, and then the next page is cleanser, then it's moisturizer, and then it's eye cream. I put a paper clip at the 3D page so that I can flip back to the page where it has the 3D. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do the skincare close for you. So just pretend like you're at my party. Okay, so what I want to do is take your mirror out and I want you to hold it out at arm's length. Now let me tell you what we've done. We've done cleanser eyes down. Day on the right cheek only, moist night on the neck only, eye cream around the right eye only. So how long does that take? Like not no time at all, right? Right? So I have time to get referrals. I got time to do everything all of those things. So they've got cleanser, born and untouched, moisturizer day, moisturizer night, eye cream. Take your mirror out and hold it out at arm's length. What do you notice difference from cheek to cheek? What are they gonna say? Who's done this before? Guys, <laughs> <laughs> can I just tell you the difference is so remarkable, it'll blow you away. There's a brightness and a thinness and a firmness to the side of the face. Like it looks thinner, it looks it's it's um it's truly unbelievable. It's brighter, which is the thing that 3D does, right? 3D makes your skin so bright. And um, so how do you know? So now here's the thing about selling. It's much more powerful if they tell each other or they tell themselves versus you telling them. So I say, what do you notice difference about your skin? And so I, may, I might have to get them started. Does the coloring look different? I might, but most of the time they can see it. You say, okay, put your mirror back in, take your hands like this, and compare your cheeks. What do you notice different from cheek to cheek? It's softer, smoother. Okay, feel your forehead. Ooh. <laughs> well, you say it's dry, flaky, or it's oily, right? And um, so what you've just done is our fabulous 3D system. I, I have to tell you that it doesn't get any easier than this. So here's the morning routine. It's so easy. Cleanser, day moisturizer, and eye cream. At night, cleanser, night moisturizer, and eye cream. And here for those, those of us that are visually impaired, the day and the night are two different colors you mix by each other. Glasses on. Now let's see, these are little statements so that people are picturing it in their bathroom, right? You want them to picture it in their bathroom. So, and the 
just I'm still in my little spiel here. So this is um, so who who here drinks Starbucks? Who has Starbucks today? Okay, what was your drink? Seltzer. Okay. I know. I know. <laughs> All right, whatever. Real Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how much did it cost? And how long did it take you to drink it? An hour. Okay, so that's actually pretty good. So this is <laughs> this is the official, uh, unofficial, we stand for Starbucks research. The average drink costs five dollars. The average person drinks it in twenty minutes. Now, I don't know about you, if you don't go to Starbucks, you may go to Dunkin' Donuts or drive through or Gum or right or vending machines. I don't know about you, but all that stuff people is right here. And I don't know about you, but I would rather people here. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what they do. They start laughing. <laughs> and um, now think about it. Five bucks in 20 minutes. This thing here system is a dollar a day. A dollar a day, you can keep the wrinkles away. Now that's a skincare clothes. Now, could you just see how people would want to purchase that because they're excited? Now, then I finish the party, whatever you guys do. Um, I do a very simple party. It's foundation, primer, CC cream, satin lips, mascara, lip gloss. That's it. Okay, question. Do you then go over their whole face before you Oh, oh, oh. so then, um, sometimes yes, sometimes no. If the party's early in the day or the face is early, I said, I said, your left cheek is still kind of lovely. Go ahead and do the moisturizer on the left cheek. And, which doesn't take very long. Um, if it, but, you know, it's even more powerful if they continue. Like, when somebody then does foundation primer and CC cream, and at the end, when you hold, hold the mirror out, there is such a difference in how the skin looks. It's one more selling point of why they want the skincare. That's another hand. Yeah. So you don't. You just have them cleanse the right cheek. No cleanse. Them? Eyes down. Eyes down. Okay. Yeah. Skip the forehead. You guys. And here's the thing. I want to have time to get referrals. I want to have time to have a whole bunch of time for individual consultations. I want to have time to do marketing. I want to have talk, time to people about the business. So if my skincare part takes less time, I have more time to do all that other stuff. Now I sell a lot of skincare. It does not need to be this big old mirror deal, right? It can happen. Like, I mean, Glenn's moisture really, you guys. How hard is that? I have a gal in my unit, her name's Adrienne. She's Princess Park this year. And um, <laughs> she started doing um, 3D on one hand, end of May, early June. And I can't tell you, I mean, she's found skincare going like this. People are seeing her hands and seeing the difference. So if you haven't been doing it on your hands, you might try doing it on one hand. So, okay, so that's the skincare clothes. Here's the group clothes. The group clothes is you've gone, you've done your whole party, whatever you use. Do you guys use a placemat or do you have a clothing sheet? Okay, boom. Okay, so whatever your sheet is, this is when you're going to van up all your steps. And so you go through all your steps on the page. And then what we do is I'll say, okay, what I want you to do is I want you to circle everything that you would love to have as money for no object. And so we go through all of the clothes. I, before we do that though, I go around the table one more time, take your mirror out. What do you like best? Your eyes, your lips, your skin. No, I say that. They've all heard me. What do you like best? Your eyes, your lips, your skin. And she tells me, what do you guys like best? They give feedback. What do you like best? Your eyes, your lips, your skin. She answers, they give feedback. What do you like best? Your eyes, your lips, your skin. Now, why do I do that? Repetitive. Repetitive. What is the last thing they're hearing? Yeah. Oh, ding, ding, ding. So, I, I mean, I, without me saying, oh my gosh, your skin looks the same, you're younger. Right, that's like rude. So, <laughs> I don't want to say, but let her family tell her. You look so much better than when you came in. <laughs> uh, that's how, right there. Uh, so that's called your group clothes. Then your individual clothes is away from the table, one at a time. Okay, now I need you to all raise your right hand. Raise your right hand. I can see you. I promise. I promise. I will never. I will never. Close the sale at the table. Close the sale at the table. Why? Because you're not going to make the sale because they're going to be embarrassed. Why else? Uh, it's the only, that is the most important reason. It's the, you, it's the only time in the party where you get to talk to them one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> <laughs> and um, 
This is when you develop a relationship. This is when you close the sale. This is when you get the booking. This is when you talk to them about the business. And so it's so important that you have that individual time, which is why I don't want to take a lot of time doing the skincare part. I want to have lots of time for my individual consultations. So your individual consultation. Um, so oh, yeah. I have a quick question. Fire away. Um, if, when we were talking to you last night, if you have a whole family, like you know, mother. Oh, well, that's a come to come come talk to different. Okay. So I would take I would take the adult children away, um, and let them go to visit until they connect with you. Now the mother follows, and that's what you take care of it. Yeah. But that families often do that. But you guys, I've had people that wanted to spend four hundred dollars and not let their friends know. I've had people that my husband lost his job, and my neighbors don't know, and they don't want to buy anything. I don't ever want to put anybody in an uncomfortable situation where you close the sale at the table, you are losing money, you're making people uncomfortable, and you lose the time that you have with that people. So how do you get them there? Right? You ever have like, y'all just look at you? Mm -hmm. so, so, so here, so I would say, what's your first name? Pam. Pam. You know what, Pam? Yes. Bring your brownies. Okay. Come join me. <laughs> <laughs> I just... Take the first cup. That's exactly what I do. That's exactly what I do. Okay. Now I'm nice about it. Now let me tell you something else. If they're, you know, you go in some people's houses, they have a couch and no furniture, or they have like weird setup. So if there's like only a couch, I want to be eye contact, but I'm tall. So for those of you tall girls, it's very important that you're never in a power of authority when you're closing the sale. This is how I close the sale. I would sit on the floor. So I'm more in a subservient role, not in a position of authority. I have set the little skincare bottles on many a floor <laughs> in 26 years. So now she's not feeling like I'm pressuring her because I'm lower than her. If I can't sit on the floor like the floor is too close, I have this too. Then, then this is, okay, you can go back to your seat. Yay, Pam, thank you. <laughs> I, I've done many a, <laughs> kind of like scratching down because I don't want to, I don't want ever somebody to feel overpowered. Okay. So a couple things when you go into an individual conversation, be prepared. I don't, uh, I make fun. I make a fun of it. And I say, come into my office. I do it with my Pam's living room. <laughs> <laughs> and so I have my calendar waiting marked where I want to hold appointments. I have the cream packet, toastest packets, my money bag. I have one look book. Ooh, here's another one. I have two left ones. <laughs> <laughs> I will never. I will never. put look book down on the table. <laughs> down the table. What? Here's my new one. And here's that you've been doing. Why? So what do they buy if you put a look book on the table? Jesus. They buy an eyeshadow, right. and they take 25 minutes to pick a color, and you lost Every lookbook that goes out, you can take a hundred bucks off the top of your sales. So no lookbooks, no lookbooks on the table. I have one to check prices because in 26 years they've changed a lot. <laughs> and when somebody says, "Do you have books?" I go, "Yeah." I don't go get them. Do you have books? I have one in the other room. I'll show it to you when you come in. I mean, that's really because I know. Now here's the other thing. I will never. I will never. never. Pull out all my samples. Pull out all my samples. samples. At a party. At a party. Why? Because you're not going to buy. Yeah, they, I mean, you can show. Yeah, I have another one, and I have another one, and then they say, let me think about it. Right? It's a job. Yeah, yeah. So that the only people that see my sample book are, they have their own skin care. They've been my customer a long time. They're like, I just did a, I just did a bridal party. But yeah, I pulled out all the colors. But these people have been buying skincare for a long time, and they can they get to see the lookbook in the sample. <laughs> new party, they don't get to see. It. So at your individual close, you want to have it memorized. And I'm, this is kind of in, at the during the party when the party can get a little chaotic. The brownies are starting to go, and the kids are coming home, and the dog is barking, and somebody's kid is calling, and somebody's kid's too tired in the truck. No, but you guys must not have enough parties if this does not happen to you. <laughs> okay, so um, so I have this so memorized that I can just, I'm like, this is 
disciplined. Like she said, I'm disciplined and committed. I work from discipline, not emotion. So did you have fun tonight? Yes. Okay, so what did I just do to you? Nod and a smile. Learn to be a bobblehead. <laughs> because if I'm smiling and nodding at you, do you know it's really hard to go? Smile and nod, smile and nod, smile and nod. All right, I would like to see smile and nod. Smile and nod. Smile and nod. Smile and nod. There you go. Bigger, bigger bobble. Bigger bobble. Okay. So, I can smile and nod. Oh, I worked at a hospital in a bar at the same time. So, okay. I'm just like, yeah. Uh, okay. So, now you're going to pay attention to my hand because you can take account of this. You engage people with you. Okay? So you want to learn to ask him questions. Why Why do I speak in questions all the time? Because even if they don't answer out loud, they have to answer in their head, right? Now, if you notice I'm doing it to you, why not? Yeah. <laughs> As a little stuff at the end of every sentence, that keeps you engaged, right? Yeah. So learn to talk in question form to keep these people engaged. So, Chip, what? Yeah. Share with me something that you learned. Now, this will tell you if they're interested in product or the opportunity because you're gonna, it's gonna be what they say first, right? Share with me something that you learned. And then how does your face feel? And you've got to be a monkey see, monkey do all the way through your party. If you want them to buy skincare, you gotta have them do this multiple times through the party. After the cleanser, after the moisturizer, after the individual clothes, at the group clothes, in your individual consultation, you've gotta do that over and over and over so that they really can feel the difference. Um, do you have any questions for me about the products that you tried today? What's a good place to start? With the, um, the 3D, or would you really like to treat yourself to the ultimate 3D? So whatever they've circled on their paper or their placemat, I'm gonna ask the two questions, like they might circle sea sleep cream and that's it. <laughs> the question still is, what's a good place to start? The 3D? Would you really like to treat yourself to the ultimate 3D? And then here's the sixth step. Zip it. <laughs> the person that talks first goes home with the product. Now here's what you do when you're new. Well, if you're really not sure what we could do with have a party, and what you could do is maybe get this part, and then at your party you could earn this part, and you talked it right out of the sale. So zip it. Sit quietly. Now, when you're new, I realize your stomach's going, Hoo! right? Your heart's a pounding. You're just, Hoo! right? Shut up. Don't <laughs> say a word. Don't say a word. Let her respond, okay? And so that is going to help you learn to close the sale. Did you guys learn something about closing the sale? Yes. yes. All right. So what can I, <laughs> I want to paint a picture for you about why you want to take this business all the way. Um, I have to tell you that when I came into Mary Kay, my husband and I were financially really, you know, paycheck to paycheck. We were not taking vacations. Vacation was driving to my mom's in Detroit, eating her food, her paying the zoo admission, staying at her house. That was that was vacation before Mary Kay. And so vaca Mary Kay has afforded us the opportunity to, we have timeshares. We take real vacations. We, one of the perks of being on a top director is we've seen the world. And when my youngest graduated from high school, we decided to take our girls to some of our favorite places around the world. We were gone for 15 days. We uh, flew in and out of Venice, and we stayed there for a couple days. We cruised the Mediterranean and went to Ephesus, as in the book of the region. Um, we, uh, we got to see Santorini, Greece, which to me is the most beautiful place in the entire world. Then we came back to Venice. We took a train to Rome. We saw the Colosseum and the Vatican. Then we took a plane to Paris. I forget. Yeah, we took a plane to Paris, and uh, we had um, we got to see the Eiffel Tower and Notre Dame. And then we took the channel to London, and uh, we actually got to see the Queen. We were waiting to changing of the guard, and the Queen came out. So we actually got to see the Queen come out in the Buckingham Palace. That was kind of a side benefit. And then, but so so what what has that done for my girl? They've seen the world, they see the world very differently because one, they've seen moms set goals and go after goals. They've seen me miss a lot of goals 
and get right back up. You know, I think that's a more important lesson for our families, our spouses, and our children, that when you miss a goal, to pick yourself back up and to keep going because life is full of ups and downs, right? You know, a toddler learns to walk in a couple, what's her first name? Luciana. Luciana. So a couple months, Luciana's going to be pulling up on the side of furniture. And then she's going to take a step and she's going to fall. And she's going to get up and she's going to take a couple steps and she's going to fall. What happened that we stop getting up after we fall? It's no big deal to a baby. What do we do? We go, jump up. You know, when they fall, jump up. That's what I want to do to you when you, like, have a party cancel and you like sucking your thumb at home. I want to go, <laughs> jump up. <laughs> because that's how you grow. That's how you grow. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you want to take your family? So, why can't it be possible for you? Really, why can't it be? You see, that's the thing about this business is that not only can you dream, but you can put feet to that dream and make that dream a reality. This was the story I was referring to in the other room. Um, for our 10-year wedding anniversary, my husband had um, flown me over on a business trip, and he gave me a diamond ring at the top of the Eiffel Tower. And so that obviously has special meaning. That ring has a lot of special meaning. And so for our, the year of our 30th wedding anniversary, the trip was, the uh, extended part of the trip was to Paris, France. And I thought, I want to give Phil a ring at the top of the Eiffel Tower. So let me go back to the beginning of the year. I had had major surgery. I had a hip replacement. Now this is the part where you go, we sing, you're way too young to have you're a way hip too replacement. Young. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. So I had major surgery, which means it was my right leg. I wasn't driving, the recovery, the physical therapy. I did recruit my physical therapist, however. <laughs> who became a red jacket, who recruited a neighbor who became a red jacket, who recruited a friend who became a DIQ. So, anyway, uh, who was the one who was telling me they had no stuff? You just take the advantage of it where it's go. Okay, so, um, so anyway, I had that and I was recovering. Then in August, that was like the beginning of the seminar year. Then in August, um, my my dad had Parkinson's for many years, which is an awful, awful disease. And I got the call, this you know, the end of the flight, and I left everything for ten days. Got to be by my mom's side, help her with all of the details, and ushered my dad into eternity. And came home. That was August. In October, one of my daughters had a life-threatening experience that I've ever been through in my entire life. That was in October. And in January, um, my grandmother, uh, my grandmother was determined she was not going to be 100 years old. She died two weeks before her 99th birthday. Uh, and, well, you know, at that point, everybody you know is gone, so she was done. But I was very, very close to my grandmother, so her grandmom died and um, had some other physical stuff. So it came around to April and May, and I had a decision to make. I had already ordered the ring. <laughs> And I'd already started paying for the ring, and um, but we were really far away. Now, I had a choice to make, and you have a choice to make. When you have these goals, the things that you want to have happen, you are going to have stuff happen. It's called life, right? And so we were really far away, and I just made a decision that I was going to give that ring to Bill at the top of the Eiffel Tower. And I'm telling you, we had two very large months, just complete determination. Now, God had a really interesting hand in it. The ring wasn't supposed to arrive until the end of July, and it came seven days before the end of the year. <laughs> so I was like, really, I had motivation because there was a ring in my hand. And, um, and so the reason I tell you that story is because you are going to have those things happen. And so to, to share with you what happened, so when we travel on top director trips, I'm sure Candace has told you some of this, we have a videographer named Carlos, who takes a video camera. Everybody, people think we're like movie stars who go in. They all, they all look like, you know, who takes a video on vacation? <laughs> so, all, and, and, you know, Americans aren't exactly quiet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we have lots of makeup and jewelry, and we're dressed to the nines, you know, so we, everybody kind of knows we walk in anywhere. And then Paul is you know, a photographer. So we travel with these people everywhere we go. So I had gone to Paul, we call him Paulie, 
Holly has said, I'm doing this thing. I want to get build a swing at the top of the Eiffel Tower. You never know. Would you do me a favor and would you take pictures? And so Bill had something for me. And he had gone to Carlos. <laughs> said, for you to Ann, I'm getting to the top. So the whole corporate staff knew. <laughs> <laughs> they even talked about it at the meeting. Everybody knew, but Bill and I. <laughs> and so I did. I got to give him a ring at the top of the Eiffel Tower. And things like that will happen for you too. When can I tell you in that moment when I was standing there telling him how much I loved him and that I wanted him to have this ring? It was something he'd been wanting. He graduated from Ohio State in 1985. He always wanted this ring. And um was I thinking about any parties that canceled? No. Was I thinking about any guests that didn't show up? No. no. Was I thinking about any skincare sets that were returned? No. no. I'm telling you, learn to get emotional maturity about your business and learn to work from commitment, not emotion. When you learn to work from a, a commitment and not emotion, because last time I checked, we're all women in here. That poor guy earlier. <laughs> yeah. But what do we do? Woo! Right? You've got to learn to be this. And you've got to learn how to um, work even when you don't want to. So I, I have some very clear, like, I have to be dressed and ready to go by 9 a.m. When I say I'm going to be on the phone from 7 to 9, I'm on the phone from 7 to 9. And so I, I've set guidelines up for myself. I don't check Facebook and Instagram while I'm during booking time. If I should have your seat in about 30 seconds. <laughs> and, um, and so, so be disciplined in that. And I will tell you when you're having major surgery or your child is having a life threatening illness or your parent is dying, you don't want to work, right? But when you learn to work from commitment, not emotion, then you will have the blessings long term. Do I feel like a top director going for the top every single day? Of course not. But I've learned to work because, well, first of all, work is the best, it's the best therapy. So if you've got some kind of crisis going on in your life and you go hold a party for those two hours that you're there, you can't think about your stuff, right? You gotta be all in with those people and then you go back to that situation refreshed because you had a little emotional mental escape from it. And so if you're going through stuff, can I just tell you book a party? Mm -hmm. You will deal with it better when you are working your business. Okay, so she told me 815. So let me just think of one more. Fire away. When you're doing your individual clothes, you said that you have with you your calendar, your recruit packet. What's the third piece? Hostess oh. packet. Thank you. One lookbook, okay. and I take my roll. Okay, so I will tell you one thing I do is I have a roll up bag with pretty fat product in it that's never been squirted out of, so that when I'm doing my banded thing and showing the bag and ripping pockets and all that off, it's all pretty. It's not half squirted out of makeup remover and a, and a CC cream tube that you've been squeezing <laughs> in the last little. It's all pretty cute product. Because do you want to buy something that's like all right? <laughs> so so pretty pretty, and that roll up bag is on the table. And the 3D is sitting in front of the roll of bag, right? Because that's my goal. Is I wanted to go home with. My goal is for you to buy five 3D or an ultimate 3D, is great, and to book a party and to either join or to um, set up an interview. So why would I sell and book if I really wanted a recruiter? Because you want to use the product first. Want to use the product? You want to work. I want to work full circle, right? What if she doesn't join? She's still a customer. I still got a skincare sale and I still got a party. What if she's teetering with the idea of joining? I can say, you know, Pam, this party that we have in two weeks, that could be your party instead of my party. It could be oh, your kid. And you would pick the money instead of me. Mm -hmm. Do you want to just go in and get your kid? So it's, it's leverage. It's leverage, right? It's one more reason for her. But if she says no, I still have a party. I still have a party. So I still recruit. I recruit a lot of people, but I still go through the process. Now, let's say I recruit Pam, and I'm sitting down and training her, and I say, okay, here's our individual consultation. We sell the product, we book, 
And, and then when you talk about the business, parents are like, oh yeah, that's what you did with me. Remember, you have to duplicate yourself. So one of my very, 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 very favorite experiences in all of America was my second, I like third top record trip. We were in Louisiana. And um, we went to something called the Schomburg Palace. We were the second non-royal grouping ever to be in the palace outside of the Hitler regime who took it over to the war. And um, so when we arrived at this palace, it had white marble steps all the way up, and there were these rose bouquets. And I, I swear I'm not making up. They were like this. Every couple stairs all the way up these white red roses all the way up these marble staircases. And there was a, like a, a, a rug, what do you call it, a runner, going up it. And then there were these, these two guys. They were dressed in period costume. And they had like the period outfit with like the little knicker pants and the little socks and the long tail jacket and the hat and the whole bit and this big staff. Now, mind you, there's 200 of us in Mary Kay that were there. And he pounded a stick and he took a step up. And he pounded a stick and he took a step up. And that is how we process up these stairs. And then we went down this hall. It was laden with gold from the ceiling to the floor, like the curtains, the walls, everything. I've, ne I've never been in a room like that before, ever. And we got a table, and I just was like, here had one of those moments, like, I'm not sure I'm breathing. I was just like, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you always knew what's about the cold happening because the security got in the pile of the And um, our pre-dinner entertainment was the Vienna boycott. And I was from me to the window to the Vienna boycott. I'm pretty sure I didn't breathe the entire time they were singing. And who gets to do that? Who could? <laughs> if Mary Kay is offering it, it applies to me. If Mary Kay is offering it, it applies to me. And so you just never know what kind of experiences you can have in this business that if you will learn to work with discipline, not emotion, if you'll learn to work your parties full circle, be a master at selling this product so you can teach your people how to sell the product. Be a master at working full circle, booking, coaching, selling, recruiting. Be a master at learning to help people feel good about who they are and seeing who they are. And when you know your why and when you have it so clear in your head, this is why I'm doing what I'm, why I'm doing this, you will, be, you will become unstoppable. And it's really whatever you want to have happen. So, if you have turkeys warbling, it, it doesn't matter what happens. You just keep going. So that's what I have to share. Day solution on the right cheek only, night moisturizer on the neck, 
eye cream around the right eye only. And then if it's early enough in the day or they're going out or whatever, say, hey, your left cheek's feeling lonely. And they just slept on real quick. So then you put primer on the whole face and foundation on the whole face and let them look at the difference. I, let them, I want them to look at the difference before primer, okay. after CC cream, and then when we're done. So they hold that mirror out three times. All right, great. So what happens next? Go see faces. Say again? Go see faces. Go see faces. All right, is there anything else you guys do? Yeah, we do. Oh, oh power is <laughs> Okay, what does that mean? <laughs> Come show us what that means. I don't have the script. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going to lead you guys through. Yeah. Okay, if I know what it is. Do you know what it is? You know it, Marie. I am, I am great. I am, I am great. great. I am wonderful. I am wonderful. I am a woman of excellence. I am a woman of excellence. I will let nobody push my buttons. I will let nobody push my buttons. I will let nobody wait on my parade. I will let nobody wait on my parade. I will go over. I will go over. I will go under. I will go under. I will go around. I will go straight through. I will go straight through. Any obstacle that comes my way. Any obstacle that comes my way. Because I'm highly motivated. I'm highly motivated. Really dedicated. Really dedicated. And I'm going to do some party party every minute. Oh, no, I, 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 I,